Hey guys, and welcome back to the West, West High Weekly. Weekly. This year, Theater West is presenting She Kills Monsters as their fall play. There will be three shows, at 7 p.m. on Friday and Saturday, and a matinee at 1 p.m. on Saturday. December 10th is the last day to submit student artwork, photography, poetry, and prose to West High's literary magazine, The Grapevine. Students who are interested in submitting their work should fill out the submission form, or email westhighreviews at gmail.com for more information. The deadline for seniors to submit senior pictures to the yearbook is January 21st. Seniors have to go to images.jostens.com and then put in the user ID. After logging in, seniors will complete the relevant information about the photo, upload, and submit. Thanks for watching this week's West High Weekly. And now on to Tasha's Trash Can. Hey guys, welcome back to Tasha's Trash Game. The varsity wrestling team has a meet at West starting at 7 p.m. against Dubuque Hempstead on December 12th. The first home girls basketball game will be held against Western Dubuque Epworth at 7.30 p.m. on Tuesday, December 10th. Now say hello to boys and girls varsity bowling teams as they compete at the Colonial Lanes against Prairie High School at 3.15 p.m. The boys swimming team also has a meet on Tuesday, December 17th against Linmar at the Corvo Rec Center. But that's all for this week. Smell you later on Tasha's Trash Game. Drive. Four Oaks is about helping families and teens and children when like they don't feel okay at home or they need help with like their home. Four Oaks is an organization that supports families who uh, may be in need, uh, whether it's uh, young people who uh, may not have a safe place to stay and they need a safe place to stay. It could also service families that um, maybe temporarily live or without a home, um, and then and then again they have places where you can sleep, you can eat. Um, there are other services for children, and so they have a wide variety of services. Okay, so I was actually there. Some like they don't really have a lot of things there. So if we do give back, then like kids that are going to go there. They will have those things, especially when it's cold out. So if they go to school, they won't be cold. So basically, people in the community can like donate clothes or anything like that to these boxes and stuff. And to help out with um, donating, if you're like wondering what to bring, you can just bring like coats or gloves or like anything that you would need for the winter time, or like. Um, like body cleaning stuff, like um, toothpaste, toothbrushes, brushes, and lotion, lotion, just things that you would need to um, care for your body. Um, people can donate stuff like jackets and gloves and stuff like that, deodorant. So, feminine hygiene, coats, scarves, gloves. They can drop it off either in the main office or in either of the offices and they can um, just bring it to school and bring it to the IJAG room or they can bring it to their um, classes that have the boxes in them. And students can do the same. Yeah. This is really important to me because like, you know when you're just walking around, you see people cold and stuff, you gotta cope but they don't. Like, you get, you start to think like, that's kind of sad. Like, you wanna donate or something to make them feel better. I also think about it as like, if you have, like kind of what she said, if you have something and you see they don't have it, and like, why not give it to them if they're in need for it? And you have sources to get it, and like, you can just help provide. I also wanted to mention that some of the, the donations that are given to us will be given to um, will be given internal because guidance also provides some of these things, um, some of these items for our own students who have stayed at Four Oaks themselves. Um, so it's sort of again a way to bring community awareness for the needs that are uh, are in the community. <laughs> 